this person has a lack of respect for what you care about or what you need and what boundaries you put in place for a reason. If you notice a red flag, take it as the sign that it is and stay away. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Nahama and this is Realization, the perfect place for those looking to grow, live authentically, and realize their potential. In today's video, we're gonna be talking all about those red flags to watch out for when you are dating. We're talking red flags that you should not ignore or just isn't healthy across the board. And of course we have to make that distinction where someone can be unhealthy for you or unhealthy for someone else, but maybe not for the next person. So we're not talking about that, we're talking about overall general things, red flags that you really should not ignore if you see something like this. Take note that this is something you should be aware of. There are probably more, but I wrote down nine red flags for you to pay attention to if something like this comes up. The first red flag that could come up is they test your boundaries. This means that when you put a limit on something, they somehow don't respect it or seem to not understand it and keep trying to push you past what you said you were comfortable with. So this could be physical boundaries, emotional boundaries, really anything that you put in place to protect yourself or something that just works for you or maybe it's a need you shared, whatever it is, and they are not respecting it and they are trying to push past it. A quick simple example of this could be where let's say you're going out with someone and you tell them, hey, I love going out with you, but I really need to be back at 11 p.m. It seems like the past couple of times you dropped me off really late and it was just really hard for me to function the next day. I have a really crazy work schedule, you know, whatever your reasoning is, and I need to feel good. So I'd love to go out again, just not past 11 o'clock. Then you go out together and when it starts getting to 10 45, 11, he starts telling you, no, just stay out later. You'll be fine. You're making such a big deal about this. Everyone goes out until midnight. Just where you're clearly seeing that this person has a lack of respect for what you care about or what you need and what boundaries you put in place for a reason. The second thing to look out for is gaslighting. So if you don't know what gaslighting is, I'm just reading from medicalnews.com it says gaslighting is a form of psychological abuse where a person or group makes someone question their sanity perception of reality or memories people experiencing gaslighting often feel confused anxious and unable to trust themselves so if you're dating someone and they make you feel like you're the one that's crazy let's say you bring something up you're discussing something that went wrong you have a concern an idea a suggestion and their response leaves you feeling really anxious and confused and they made you feel as if you were crazy for thinking or feeling the way you do that's a big sign that number one they don't know how to take responsibility for you know talking things through which we'll get to in a minute but the gaslighting part is just a very manipulative abuse of tendency and that's something to really watch out for. Number three, like we just touched on, is not willing to talk through issues. A healthy person is someone who's going to be open to hearing what you have to say, especially in dating. It's not even like you got so comfortable that you're both, you know, responding very naturally and you have a hard time listening to the other person. You have to really work on it. This is like you're dating someone, you're both on your best behavior. And if you bring something up like, hey, I wanted to talk about this. This made me uncomfortable or I was just wondering what you thought about you know, this and this, something that affects your future. Maybe you brought up something in your communication that you wanted to work on. And for some reason, they always get defensive and they just make it clear that they're not up to having any discussions about their behavior, your relationship, your future. They just make it clear to you that this is not something they're willing to do, that they'd rather just be stuck in whatever mindset or situation that they're in and don't want to talk through issues and they're not willing to communicate communicate in a healthy way to move forward, that is a big red flag. Number four is your family or friends don't approve. And give me a minute on this one because I know it could be tricky. Some of you may have family members that don't really support you or that don't have your best interest at heart, which is really sad and heartbreaking and not what we're talking about right now. What we're talking about right now is someone with a healthy family and friend structure where the people closest to them really care about them, care about their best interest and want what's best for them, for who they are, and unconditionally love them, etc. 
So if someone in that situation is dating someone that their family and friends just don't approve of, they say like something feels off, something feels fishy, this is just not right, we don't trust him, we don't like him, that is something to strongly consider. In that case, you really need to trust them to take a closer look because usually they can spot something that you can if for some reason you are feeling a little bit more blinded to the situation because you like this person and things seem to be going well and so your judgment may be a little bit off. So again, if you're in the situation where your family and friends have your best interest at heart, if they see something wrong or they're not okay with the way this person is treating you, anything of the sort, that is a red flag. Number five, which is kind of connected, is you feel the need to justify their bad behavior. And this could be justifying to yourself or justifying to your friends and family or really anyone who you meet, who you're talking to, and you mention something that he said or did and they say something like, that's really not okay or that sounds off or wrong. And you say, no, 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 he really didn't mean it. It was fine. You must not really be understanding it or you don't really get him. And even justifying to yourself if he you know insults you or something goes pretty wrong and you're telling yourself no it's okay he really is a good person deep down i'm not saying that someone can't make a mistake or say something that hurts you and then apologize and talk about it but again not being willing to talk about issues is a thing and speaking to you respectfully is a thing so if you feel like you're constantly justifying his behavior to yourself and to others that is a very big red flag the sixth thing is feeling a lack of safety this can come out in a bunch of different forms, but just that overall feeling of not feeling safe to be yourself, for some reason you're like, I don't feel like I could be myself, like I could truly let go, for some reason I'm on guard, I'm on edge, I feel tense around this person, I feel nervous to voice a concern or to communicate properly, that's a sign that this is not right and that's probably a red flag. Number seven is it's all about them, or really, it's always all about them. If it seems like everything you do, everything you talk about is always about them, what they like, what they're interested in, what their needs and wants are, and it's never about you or about the we, that's a big red flag. Of course, it's normal to want to feel good about yourself and take care of yourself and share things about yourself, but there comes a point where is this person constantly, constantly talking about themselves, constantly ignoring you to focus on themselves, ignoring your needs and wants, showing a lack of willingness to compromise, and even that sense of like entitlement and inability to have consideration for others, that is something to really beware of. Number eight is talking negatively about others excessively, especially if it's about other people that they dated, because that shows that usually they're not willing to take responsibility for any of their part in what happened in their past experiences. They're just putting all the blame on them and saying they were horrible people, which means they'll probably do that to you if you stop dating. So usually that's a sign that they were the problem in these past relationships. It shows that they apparently can't take responsibility for their own decisions and probably couldn't get along with other people because of their own issues. So if you're dating someone that talks negatively about other people a lot, whether it's people they dated or just in general, that's a sign to stay away. The ninth and final red flag I have for you today is that they criticize you or put you down. Even putting it in context like a healthy suggestion now and again might be okay might be okay, especially in the dating phase, I'm saying might, because even that should be done sparingly, kindly, and probably in a longer term relationship than just dating someone. But when you're dating, there's no reason why someone should be putting you down, insulting you, making you feel bad, denying your feelings or experiences, or things like that. This is a huge red flag and something to avoid at all costs. Dating could be really hard, it could be really emotionally draining, complex, and sometimes it's hard to notice the signs. And so I hope that these nine red flags were really helpful for you to try to discern when something is not right. If you do notice any of these red flags, I would highly suggest that you end this relationship and that you make sure you take the necessary precautions to keep yourself away and keep yourself healthy and safe and protected. There are so many amazing people out there, amazing guys, amazing girls. If you notice a red flag, take it as the sign that it is and stay away. I hope you find amazing love at the right time with the right person. I love you all and I'm wishing the best for you. If you liked this video and found it helpful, 
would love if you can give it a thumbs up for me. Subscribe to my channel to join our realization community. Make sure you hit that notification bell to be notified every single time I upload a video. And leave me a comment letting me know if you've ever experienced any of these red flags. Feel free to leave me any suggestions for future videos. And with that said, I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.